Hey, happy Saturday. It's sa Oh my God. You know, Christmas is a week from today. I'm sitting here. I'm getting ready. We're, we're going to open gifts. I'm really excited. That's what we're doing on the other channel. And I'm going to get ready to start on that in just a minute. Um, I just had to go downstairs and put my face on. I've had a weird day. It's been a good day, though. I have to tell you, to, the best thing about today is the fact that I've as of this afternoon, I'm all caught up on my work. Now, I just have to hope that nothing crazy comes in this week. Now, it's the week of Christmas, so I'm hoping it won't. You would like to think it won't, but I've learned in this job to, you know, expect anything. The weirdest week for work is the week between Christmas and New Year's. That weird little, those that little collection of days between Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Usually for me, it's either super busy or super slow. I have a feeling this year is going to be one of the busy years, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm very happy because now that I'm caught up, that means tomorrow I don't have to work. And this will be the first weekend in about a month that I have not, that I had a day where I didn't work. So it's awesome because I've worked at least a half a day. I think now three or four weekends in a row and then working all week and everything except for last Thursday, a week ago Thursday. So, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. It rained off and on here all day, but it was warm. It was actually very pleasant outside except for the constant rain. But uh, I went to an exercise class in the morning, this morning, and then I'm, I'm going to one tomorrow. But other than that, I have all day tomorrow, and I don't have to work. And it's so wonderful. I am so excited. I'm going to try to watch at least one Christmas movie. I want to try to watch one tonight if I can. I know this video I'm going to have to edit because it never fails. Um, there's always like a noise, like if I'm trying to open a box or something, there's always some sort of noise I have to edit out. Like, you'd be surprised how often unexpected noises come up. You know, like just so you have, like say you have a box on your lap and you go to pick something up and it's like kind of hanging on something else and that thing drops back down in the box. It can be unbelievably loud in a video. And I have to cut it out. And sometimes people say, like, why do you have all these, you know, why do you keep editing your videos like that? Because trust me, if I didn't, you'd be complaining about the jarring noise. What was that? Oh, my God. I was almost asleep and you'd made that laugh. Yeah. That's, in my mind, when I read comments like that, that's the voice I hear. Why are you doing that? It sounds like my kids when they were like five and they didn't want to do something. I don't want to do it. That's how it sounds. That's how it sounds. It's like a moped. You ever heard a moped? That's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be open. I have three packages over here, and one of them is really big. So I'm just going to be sitting here, and I'm going to whisper it, because I haven't whispered anything in about three or four days. That's just the way it worked out. You know, I don't have a schedule or anything. I just, I just do what I want to do every day. I washed my hair earlier, and I haven't really fluffed it out. I let it, I always let my hair air dry. I don't blow dry it or anything. And I haven't sufficiently fluffed it out. I treated myself to some fancy um, shampoo and conditioner. I went, it was used on my hair. I had to cheat on my hairdresser back, um, was it this past summer? She had surgery and was out of commission for a couple of months and I had to get my roots done and I went somewhere else. And she used a different shampoo and conditioner on my hair. And I was just in love with it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It's not something I'm going to buy very often. It was like a little Christmas present to myself. Um, shoot. What was the name of it? I can't remember the name of it now. It, it, was, like, it was like a normal person's name. I'll tell you in a second. But it's expensive stuff. Kevin Murphy. Ke Kevin Murphy Angel Hair Wash and Rinse. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and it leaves my hair so soft. I got a thing of the shampoo and a thing of the conditioner and a um, like a deep, deep conditioning hair mask. Um, guys, ugh. I like it, but my stars. But it leaves my hair feeling so nice and lovely. So that I, I wash it when I got back from my exercise class. I took a shower. I washed my hair with that, and it was a nice treat. It smells really good. Uh, that didn't have anything to do with anything. Um, 
Yeah, so what else did I do today? That's about it. I've been playing Wordscapes all day. I'm, I'm on a team on the, you know, Wordscapes, the app. You make words, with, they give you these letters and you have to make words. And I play in the tournament, the tournament every weekend. And um, I'm in first place currently and I'm trying to stay there. I have to keep checking it and playing a little bit to stay, in, stay on top. But I've been doing that. And I worked part of the day, and I'm hoping to watch A Christmas Carol. I love the version with Alistair Sim. That is my favorite version of the movie A Christmas Carol. It is so good if you've never seen it. It's an old black and white version with Alistair Sim, and it is it's so good. The end the end of it when he you know he wakes up and he realizes it's Christmas Day. It's he just he just does such a good job at playing a grouchy man and a happy man, and I just I love that movie. I love it so much, and I haven't watched it yet this year. Well, usually I watch my Christmas movies on the weekends and I've been working on the weekends. So I haven't, I just haven't done, I haven't watched my movies. I haven't watched Christmas Vacation yet. Christmas Carol, a Christmas story I haven't watched. I got to get on the ball because Christmas is a week away. And after Christmas, like, I don't really want to watch them after that. You know, I'm kind of done with Christmas, but I don't put my tree away until after New Year's. Usually... Um, like the weekend after New Year's is when I start taking my decorations down and putting them away. That's always kind of sad. You know, it seems like it's all over so fast and it's kind of sad. But, um, I got these products that, <laughs> these just came in the mail and I was kind of ticked off because the mailman left the package on the, on my front doorstep and it was pouring down rain. Like, why don't you just put it in the mailbox? I don't know. And it was the mailman. It's not because I know sometimes like with Amazon, they can't put stuff in the mailbox. Um, so they have to put it at your front door or porch or whatever. But it was the mailman and I don't understand why he did it because it, it was a small box. He put my regular mail on the mailbox and then got out and brought, I don't know, there had to be some reason for that. It was just first class mail. There was no reason to leave it on my doorstep. Anyway, it was pouring down rain. And fortunately, I saw him and I got out there and got it, but it was already wet. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't anything that shouldn't get wet, but I, I saw this product and I thought that looks interesting and I've kind of wanted to try something like this. And this looked like something I wanted to try. Now, if you've heard of potpourri, it's, you know, it's a toilet spray, you know, I love it. I have it in all my bathrooms here. I have all the scents, well, not all of them, but I have a lot of them and oh, they're wonderful, especially, um, I think it's wonderful if you're in a place where you're in close quarters with people. It's a, a, fun, a great product. It's, fun, it's a fun little product. Their commercials are hilarious. They laugh at themselves and it's really good. They have come out with a new product. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, from, it's called Pit Puri and it's called Pits and Bits. <laughs> it's an all day, all over deodorant. And they have several different scents. I got two of these, and they didn't sponsor me. I just I just bought these. They were like ten dollars each, and I've been looking for like a deodorant alternative that doesn't have aluminum in it, and this does not. And it says it's sensitive skin safe and has funk lock. I don't know what funk lock is, but they both have it. This stuff is paraben free, synthetic, fragrance free, plastic free, like this. The container is just paperboard, and it has no aluminum in it. And I got two of the scents. I had some others, but these sounded good. I got, what is this one? Coconut Vanilla Sandalwood. And I haven't smelled them yet. I wanted to wait and show them to you. Eucalyptus Sea Salt. So I thought we would sniff them together. Well, you can't sniff them, but I'll tell you what I think. 24-hour Funk Lock Guarantee. And the, the outside is just paper. <laughs> Give up the funk. There once was a sweater named Fitz who stunk from pits to bits. They have funny poems. One swipe of this stick finally did the trick. Now their pits are as good as it gets. <laughs> they have the funniest, they, they always put funny stuff on there. Now you don't twist it. Push it, push it good. It says on the bottom, push it, push it good. So I guess you just do like a push pop. You do. So here is the pits and bits, and you can use this anywhere that you have funk. 
you can use it on your pits and on your bits. Oh, that smells nice. See, it's like a, it's like a creamy stick, you know? I like it. It smells nice. So this was, um, eucalyptus sea salt. And I was afraid the eucalyptus would be really strong. I didn't want to walk around smelling like a cough drop all day. No, it's not, it's not strong at all. Mm -mm. I mean, you can kind of smell a little bit, but it's actually really nice. I like it. It's like a salty cough, uh, cough drop. Oh shoot, I've messed it up. Well, I'm not going to push it down anymore. So I've got eucalyptus sea salt in this cute little container. And the other one was what? Coconut vanilla sandalwood. Give up the funk. And it has the same poem on it. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, it smells like suntan lotion. It really does. It smells like suntan lotion. I like it. I really like that one. The other one's good too, but I like, I really like this one. But this came unfortunately after I took my shower and I had already put deodorant on. So I'll try this tomorrow after my shower. I'm going to an exercise class tomorrow that is, I've never gone to one like this. It's some kind of aerobics class. And I got talked into it. Now I'm kind of intimidated. Like, I cannot do this. But I'm going to do it anyway. That's nice. Oh, I'm going to try this one tomorrow. And I will, I will let you know. I will let you know how I feel about it. I wish I... I I may slap some on before the class, but I've already got like degree on or whatever. So I could just wash that off and put this on, I guess. But I'll let you know in a few days what I think of it. But yeah, I've, I've been wanting to try something like this. Um, so when I saw that poopery had come out with something, I said, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pit puri. <laughs> Pit puri. All right. So in the, the container is completely compostable, biodegradable. It's just paper. You know, so I'm going to try that. But before I go, I got to get started on this video. But um, before I go, I had to tell you about my adventure yesterday. <laughs> so I got these little Soresto collars for my cats for their fleas, right? And it comes in a, a can like shoe polish. It looks like a giant can of shoe polish. I said, my God, it's, it's like a big old thing of kiwi. Look at it. Um, it's bear Soresto cat. And look at that look on that cat's face. Like, what the hell are you talking about? And that's about the look I got from my cats yesterday. I'm like, are you serious? So, I got one. Okay. Olive, the kitten. I I got it out and I was, you know, getting it ready. You know, and you kind of feeding it together. Kind of getting it in the little buckle thing, you know. And getting it ready to go. And she happened to walk in the kitchen right when I was doing that. And I just, I just jumped, literally jumped at the opportunity. I just whirled around and I got a hold of her. I wasn't hurting her. I was just like holding her by her shoulders and kind of had her trapped between my, like I was down on the floor, had her kind of trapped between my knees. But you got to move fast because what she does, she starts scooting backwards and those back legs start coming out like this and they're just clawing at whatever they can get a hold of, which is my legs. So I mashed it. I got it over her head really fast, but I was not able to tighten it before she ran away. And I didn't want her to scratch me because I didn't have on my, my lawn mowing pants. I have these thick pants I wear when I do yard work. Well, I didn't have those on, and I didn't want more scars. So I got it on her, and it was funny because after I got it on her, she stood there for a second like her legs all splayed out and her eyes are just wide. She's looking at me just... And she looked at me like, what did you just do? And then she ran away, and then she kind of did this little boot scooting boogie in the hallway and then she started running like backing up and she's just backing up and the downstairs part of my house you can just go around and around and around like there's the bathroom right in the middle you can just go around and around and around in a circle and she's just basically backing around doing circles in the house and most of it she did backwards and Evie was standing by the sitting by the front door on the, my little gnome mat by the front door and she's just sitting there watching her like what are you doing why are you doing that? And she's just watching, just very curious, like, what are you doing? But what she didn't realize, what Evie didn't realize was the whole time she was sitting there watching, I was getting her collar ready. I was getting it out of the package and getting it ready to go. And I just kind of meandered up behind her, you know, no big deal. And she's not paying any attention to me because she was watching the kitten go around and around. 
And before she knew it, I had pounced on her. And Evie's pretty easy, though. She doesn't really put up much of a fight. She'll just go kind of, fine. Unless she's especially spicy. She, if you can just get a hold of her, she'll just kind of go, whatever. And she's just kind of dead inside, you know. So but the problem was, I forgot. Evie has like a wide face like she has this fat head it's not fat but like her head is a lot bigger than the kitten's head you know and i had I, I had it cinched down a little bit too far so i'm trying to get it over her head and her face is going like this and i've got her ears pulled back and and she kind of raises her head up and she looks at me like the hell are you doing <laughs> her eyes were big because i had them pulled back like that <laughs> And the kitten was still just going around and around. At this point, she was running forward. And she'd stop every now and then and scratch at the collar and try to get it off and run some more. And she's just, Evie's just like this. And I finally, I couldn't get it over her ears. I finally got it over her ears. And then she took off. And she just, she ran halfway down the hall. And then she turned around and she looked back at me like, How could you do this to me? I trusted you. It's the same look she gives me when I put front line on her, but this is pumpkins. This is pumpkins. Okay. I brought this up here earlier, and she disappeared. How would she know this was fur? I've never used these fur. She wasn't anywhere around when I did it to the other two. She was up here asleep. How do they know? How do they, Are they psychic? Like, she knew this was fur because I brought this up here. I didn't do anything. Like, I just set it down. And she just went, whew. she was just gone. And she's not in here anymore. I don't know. I think she's under my son's bed. She, they, they just, they know. I don't know how, but somehow they know. But at some point, I'm going to have to get this on her. So she's the last one. And the good thing about these is they're good for eight months. I hope they work. These dang things are like 50 some dollars each. They better work. I mean, it's cheaper than, it's cheaper than Frontline and it's cheaper than, the little chewable things but if these don't work i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna have to go with that revolution plus or whatever that you get at the vet's office i guess i'll just have to do that i mean that's an option but i'm really hoping these work because they're a lot cheaper but anyway i just wait this thing's crooked you see i don't know if y'all ever noticed this picture back here i always have to check and make sure that it's not see like the tripod i have to make sure it's straight and i really hate it when i get to the end of a video and realize that it was crooked the whole time and i didn't catch it so yeah i mean I, well that's good enough i don't know you know i do everything. i'm very lo-fi i'm basically a luddite like i don't i don't care i know other people do high tech stuff but i just i don't it's nothing against people who do that. I mean, they, they've got way more subscribers than me, so they obviously know what they're doing. But videos like that, to me, are just too polished and too perfect, and they they never really worked for me ASMR-wise anyway. I don't even watch ASMR videos. When I started making them almost six and a half years ago, ASMR videos stopped working for me. They don't, they don't work for me anymore. There are some unintentional ASMR videos that I like, but videos that are specifically made for ASMR... They make me feel weird. Like they make me feel uncomfortable to watch them. I don't, I don't like it, so I don't watch them. But anyway, I don't plan to change the way I do things. I like the way I do things. So I'm gonna clear out my my pit puri. I'm, I'm interested. I think I'm gonna start with the coconut vanilla sandalwood. I'm gonna try that. But yeah, these are like ten dollars each, and I don't know how long they last. Um, I know these aluminum free kind of things are more expensive than like a stick of secret or whatever, but I would like to go, I want I want to get away from the aluminum stuff, you know, and go with something a little bit better. So I thought this was a good one to start with. It says it's natural and clean. Let me see if I can read this. I don't have my glasses on, but there's something on the back of it. What does it say? Poopery is a funk defying all natural full body deodorant. That is clinically proven to work like for real it's powerful skin loving combination of mandel mandelic acid pr 
prebiotics, caffeine, and proprietary funk lock technology keeps the funk away and you smelling fresh all day. Simply apply anywhere you're smelling funky, underarms, under boobs, and even your undercarriage. Dermatologist and gynecologist approved. Guaranteed all day, all over protection. Nice. So yeah, again, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just thought this was cool. I just happened to see an ad for it on Facebook or something. And I said, oh shoot, because I love their poopery stuff. Um, yeah, it's great. I, I make everybody here use it. So uh, it's wonderful. Pit -pourri. That was one good thing about having COVID. I couldn't smell anything for a while. And if you live with two boys, that's actually kind of nice to not be able to smell for a bit. I lost my sense of smell for about two, almost three months. I mean, it kind of came back. Um, I lost my sense of taste, but that came back a lot quicker. I only lost my sense of taste for about two weeks. But I became paranoid when I lost my sense of smell. I, I became paranoid. I was afraid I stunk. Like, do I stink? And I kept asking my kids, do I stink? And they're like, no. I was obsessively showering and putting on deodorant because I, I, I wouldn't know. Like, if I stink, I don't know. I became paranoid that I smelled. So, but yeah, living with, living with boys, it's not so bad to lose your sense of smell for a little bit. It was almost like a little vacation, but... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to put this stuff up and get my gifts out. I'm excited. I'm ready to open my packages. And we'll get that video from my other channel. And happy Vlogmas. See, I used it and I didn't say it was stupid or anything. It's almost over. We only have like, what, six more days of this? Five days in a wake up or whatever it is. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be, I'm going, to be going to my dad's one day this week. And video wise, I don't know what's going to happen that day. So I hope you have a great day, what's left of it, and I'm going to get this video uploaded, and I'm going to start on my, my other one, which I will whisper, because I haven't whispered in what feels like forever, and I kind of miss it, so I'm looking forward to that too. But thank you so much for being here. I love all your wonderful comments and all the nice things you have to say, and I, I just, I like being able to just chat with you, and it's just an everyday thing, and it's so informal, and I like it. So, oh, and before I forget, I know I mentioned this in a video on my other channel, and somebody was really, a lot of people were excited about it, and I'm going to do it. I'm doing a live stream for maybe an hour or so, hour and a half, New Year's Eve night, up till midnight Eastern Standard Time. I am going to do that on my other channel with a moderator to deal with trolls, so I won't have to. I got that lined up, so I'm doing that, and I hope to see you there. Because New Year's Eve is the day that I get the fewest number of views every year. And I think that's true for everybody. Like, New Year's New Year's Eve is the day that nobody watches ASMR. Because I guess everybody's trying to stay up. They're not trying to go to sleep. And at first, I thought, well, why even bother doing a video? I mean, nobody watches anyway. Just take a day off. But then I thought, you know what, though? I'm not doing anything New Year's Eve. And I bet there are other people out there that aren't doing anything. If nothing else, maybe we could just hang out in a live stream for like an hour hour and a half or whatever it ends up being I, it's not gonna be like a super long thing you know but i thought that would be fun you know something a little different because i hardly ever do live streams i don't like I, 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 I don't do them very often because every time i do one when it's over i have this bad feeling like oh that went terrible oh that was awful i always have this bad feeling afterwards i always feel like it it didn't go well and i just I don't know. It just makes me feel bad about myself for some reason. I don't know why. That's why I don't do them very often. But we're going to do one New Year's Eve that night. Maybe starting around, I don't know, maybe 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, somewhere in there. But I'll give you more details closer to the date here and on the other channel. So that's something. So if you don't have plans for New Year's, that's all right. I don't either. I'm going to be here. Otherwise, I'll probably just go to sleep. <laughs> Or I'd be doing laundry or something. Um, but yeah, we can hang out for a little bit. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day. And I hope your weekend is going well. And I will see you again soon.